Hello and welcome to our channel. Please check out our main channel with the link in the description to not miss out on our content. In this tutorial, you will learn how to achieve a double exposure look in Photoshop. Double exposure is a photographic technique that mainly involves combining two exposures to create a single image. The technique yields very interesting results and allows the photographer to produce ghost images and mirror images that tell a story in a unique way that can't be achieved with a single photo. Before editing anything, it's best to think of what you want your final image to be. The first go-to combo would be a portrait combined with a landscape photo. In this tutorial, we will give you general ideas on how to approach the double exposure effect in Photoshop. Let's start by opening both images into a new file. We suggest to touch up each image before we go for the double exposure effect. Correct the brightness and the colors. Now with all the editing done on each image, let's start off by eliminating the background on the main subject image. Once we're done with this, select the main subject by holding Command and clicking on the thumbnail of the main subject layer. Then select the second exposure image layer and click on Add Layer Mask. Unlink the mask and move or rotate the second photo until your desired part is within the outline silhouette. Now for the second image, you can try using the screen layer, which is one of the most commonly used layer blending options for double exposure. It should offer a good amount of transparency to reveal the second photo underneath. However, it might still not be the final output that you look for, so go ahead and move on to the final step. You may also want to remove parts of the image by drawing on the layer mask to further add a touch to the blending of the two images. Finally, make a copy of the subject layer, drag it on top of the second layer, and change the subject layer's blending mode to lighten. Go ahead and make your finishing touches, such as softly erasing the topmost subject layer to show more of the landscape layer underneath. While this might be a little complicated, the results that can be achieved are often jaw-dropping and gorgeous. Do you plan on using photos that you have shot on a camera or using stock images? If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and make sure to press the bell button to be the first to know about our new videos.